Welcome back. This is John Locke, and today we're talking about this article on Search Engine Journal. Google representative John Mueller suggests the appearance of a site, the visual presen presentation of your website can impact your visibility in search results, meaning your design can affect your rankings. Now, this is something that we've talked about in the past, but let's hear what uh, John Mueller says. So he was asked about this during the Search Central SEO Hangout recorded on June 25th, 2021, and responding in, to a question on how to fix a gradual traffic decline, he advises looking at different site elements that may affect visitor perception. So this is not related to any specific algorithm, but what I suspect happens and uh, what, what other colleagues of mine suspect happens in situations like this is Google is getting real user data and they're seeing how people respond to a site. Now, if your site basically has a visual presentation that looks like it's out of the 1990s or if things are um, not easy to find or, you know, not easy to um, get to their goal, those things might affect your rankings overall. So I, I suspect, and there's no way to can really confirm this like true or false, but I, I have a suspicion that Google looks for um, your actual behavior on the site using things that they've patented in the past to maybe track whether you're satisfied with the page or not. But I think also my, my hypothesis is, is that they might use conversions, certain types of conversions to um, basically see if, if users are satisfied with the page and they're not just using uh, a couple here or there, they're using like a wide uh, range of user data to actually uh, get this information. So. The presentation of your site can be a problem here. So this is how the question was worded. Um, a site owner whose traffic continued to drop over an extended period asked John Mueller this. John Mueller being a Google representative who basically his main job is to answer questions like this and try and guide people in the right direction. He said it's worth going over details which would seem unimportant to the site owner but matter a lot to visitors and he says, Sometimes those small differences do play a role in regards to how people perceive your website. For example, if you have something that is on a financial topic and people come to you and say, well, your information is okay, but it's presented in a way that looks very amateurish, then that could reflect how your website is perceived. And in the long run, that could reflect something that is visible in search as well. Now, again, they would not say this if they did not have a way to measure whether people were satisfied with a page or not. And this is why they're making the, these suggestions. And it's something that we've said in the past as well, that sites that are better designed, that have essentially the same information, are going to do better than a site that has pretty much the same content, pretty much the same information, but it's more poorly designed. Those better designed sites rise to the top. Now, Google has to have a way to measure uh, whether people are satisfied with this page. Again, they don't use Google Analytics data. They've said that many times in the past. But you have to actually please users. Better design, better presentation um, is going to improve your rankings. Now, he also recommended getting independent opinions from unbiased sources. So get people outside of your organization to give an unbiased opinion. Very interesting. He uh, also mentioned a Google blog post from 2019. Okay. That uh, was related to core updates that listed a number of questions site owners can ask themselves in regard to improving site quality. 
And as it relates to site presentation, is the content free from spelling, spelling or stylistic issues? Was the content produced well and does it appear sloppy or hastily produced? Is the content mass produced or outsourced to a large number of creators spread across a large network of sites so that individual pages or sites do not get as much attention or care? Does the content have an excessive amount of ads, looking at this page right now, uh, that distract from or interfere with the main content? I mean, I guess this you can get by with this if you're a big brand, but if you're an up and coming brand, yeah, you might not want to do this as much. And does the content display well for mobile devices when viewed on them? So legibility, presentation, mobile friendliness, these are all things that obviously they have a means to measure or they wouldn't they wouldn't put these out there so moving on he said site owners can ask users these questions at well but they need to be prepared to take feedback objectively asking users those kinds of tough questions and trying to take the answers they give you in an objective way often leads you to finding things that you should be working on that might not be what you're currently working on that's the approach that i would take there Try to get actual feedback from people and take action based on that. Because sometimes if you've been working on a website for so long, you have tunnel vision. Like it's your baby and you know which parts are good and you're very protective. And when someone comes to you and says it's ugly or the colors are bad or something like that, that's what you need to hear. So this is a very interesting, and again, it's, Search Engine Journal says this, it's important to keep in mind any changes made to improve the quality of a website can take a long time to be reflected in search results. And I think it's again, because they have to gather the actual data from real users to basically see like, hey, we should be pushing this site or this page higher than these other ones that have a proven track record of doing well. So basically you're having to overcome the incumbent sites or pages that are at the top positions. So it's a long-term effort, not something you'd see changes like overnight. But uh, the whole discussion is here. I'll link it up in show notes below in YouTube. But anyway, my name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. I'm here on a regular basis making videos. If you have a topic, that you would like to see explored, a question that you would like to see answered regarding SEO, ask it down here below. I would appreciate a subscription, a thumb up, um, and that's all I got for now. Until next time, peace.